Hi guys and welcome back to our channel Popcorn Reviews and Filmactico Reviews. <laughs> okay, so we glad that uh, you know this is a special uh, podcast that uh, you know we are doing again uh, and the movie that we are going to be discussing is the film Vikram. Now I have already recorded the review of Vikram so this discussion on my channel Popcorn Reviews by the way but this discussion uh, will be uh, filled with mild spoilers since it is a podcast. So, uh, first thoughts, Sadiq. Uh, what are your thoughts on uh, Vikram? So, Vikram, uh, for me, uh, I mean, you know, before watching Vikram, we were advised even by Lokesh and, you know, even by some of the fans to watch Kedi first. I mean, if you want to watch Vikram. And now, after watching Vikram, I realized the sense of watching Kedi. Or Kethi, whatever the name was, Kethi. that was released back in 2019. Because many people are saying Kethi or Kethi, so yeah. So Kethi was released in 2019, and uh, I had to watch it again because even though I watched it in lockdown during 2020, so to make sense that how the film is related, and I won't spoil it or disclose it that how is it related, because obviously you'll watch the climax and you'll realize. Spoil how it. it. Yeah. Spoil it. It's a spoiler discussion. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's not really a spoiler. So I would say, you know, I mean, both the films are based on a drug syndicate, you know, and this is what makes it special. I mean, uh, this is what I think make Lokesh films more, more special that he focuses on such uh, issues. So, uh, I mean, specifically in Kethi and Vikram. So speaking again of Ke- Vikram, so I was very happy that the film is very relevant and to the point and the character development of all these three big characters i mean uh, whether it's uh, fat fazil whether it's vijay setupati whether it's uh, you know kamalasan and whether it's even surya in a very small and you know minor but very impactful role and uh, not even these big characters but all the supporting characters also all the characters they are so very well explained and the relevance of you know all these characters in such a big movie none of these have been wasted even if you notice the character of agent tina who, who uh, whose role was hardly hardly of a few minutes hardly but you know the impact was there so this is the okay, special yeah. yeah yeah so this is what i love about this movie more than the entertainment the wholesome value provided as a viewer uh, or even you know i analyze movie from not only a viewer perspective but also from a reader perspective because obviously you study the, the characters i mean the film uh, is just an illustration of your thoughts and of your ideas so even before you know uh, designing a screenplay or implementing a screenplay uh, a thought of you know having a good and meaty characters is there so this is what for me was the most special thing about uh, that uh, vikram that even in such a star studded film he never wasted a single character no matter how small the role was even in the cameo i mean even in the you know you watch the climax when the characters from kethi are here the three four you know characters of the drug syndicate which were left alive by uh, you know karthi uh, i mean dilli i should rather say so they were dilli wala dilli yeah so, so so dilli leaves those characters and they are here and they are now uh, having a headache that after being you know uh uh the drug syndicate or the their whatever the products that they had they they were destroyed by delhi now they have been destroyed by kamalasan that is vikram yeah. so, so yeah uh-huh. so i mean so i'll tell you my thoughts uh, yeah. before you know uh, yeah yeah so uh, just we can just go on to the next section but before that i'll just share my thoughts that uh, while watching the film and i i hadn't re- uh, read the post of uh, lokesh kanagra who's the director he had put up a post apparently saying that we visit kaithi which i had missed uh, that post otherwise i would have probably at least read about it uh, because even i had watched kaithi during the lockdown the review of which you will also find on my site popcorn reviews both the reviews vikram as well as kaithi and uh, you know it was one of my friends nimisha nimisha rajiv who pointed this out uh, to me that uh, you know uh, this is actually not the second because i had written that i am excited for the second part actually this is the uh, this is the second part and uh, uh, the, what's going to follow is the third part with the first film being kathi i said how is it related i mean i didn't i didn't latch on to it while watching the film that the dilli wala which was referred to was actually the character of karthi in uh, the film kathi you know so that i think uh, was a 
welcome and when i actually you know thought about it after she said i and i remember discussing it with you as well and you told me there's a kathy to coming up and there's a vikram to coming up as well so i mean uh, that is um, you know we really uh, looking to in that metaverse vikram metaverse that you yeah. can say yeah and uh, that vikram, is a new concept yeah, yeah. The, the, the vikram verse they are trying to create you know vikram the verse yeah 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 or, or you can say the lokesh cinematic universe lcu which, oh, LCU. Which, which they are referring to so yes it, it's a it's an excellent thought process and they are actually yeah. implementing something good i won't say something new but at least something good that they are trying to implement and you know this will create some impact i mean the content is good the content is media Absolutely. and and it it provides some wholesome value so why not so that that's what you know i, I like about it so yeah i mean and for uh, coming coming if you can take the next step you know in this video and uh, coming to the screenplay uh, you know what i felt is this is a typical and you can share your thoughts as well uh, this is a typical lokesh kanagraj screenplay i would think uh, in which if you are familiar with his work uh, with uh, kathy even master i think master was directed by lokesh kanagraj uh, there is a certain sense of being disjointed in the screenplay you know you you won't find instant answers to what is happening on screen when you actually are watching the film and uh, you are scratching your head as to how did this come how did this lead to and you need to really be attentive to the dialogues that are there and uh, you know uh, it is disjointed and it is done purposely as well i would think it is done purposely just to keep the audience guessing and keep them in the uh, in the fray of the things uh, at the same time also uh, keep throwing in twists and turns you know which will keep them engaged and want to be curious about what thing what is happening next i think this is uh, and this is so easily it could have gone wrong as well i feel sadik you know this i think is a work of a genius uh, because everyone will not be able to hold the audience's attention with a disjointed screenplay disjointed screenplay this is not the first film and definitely not the last but there have been instances in which the makers have failed you know in creating a disjointed screenplay one of the reason one of the examples can be uh, the arjun rampal star roy i think that had a disjointed screenplay absolutely and disjointed doesn't necessarily mean non linear although yeah. non linear can follow in fall in this category but it is not a non linear screenplay disjointed as in you are not able to piece together uh, you know things of what is transpiring on screen and why is it happening you know so that is the uh, i think essence of a disjointed screenplay as opposed to a non linear in which it is a oscillating uh, to and fro kind of a narrative so what are your thoughts on that sadik absolutely absolutely i mean the screenplay was not uh, for me it's, it was obviously not at all confusing and it made real sense i mean it was good that you know he started with the character of fat fazil fafa i mean you know uh, inspector amar which was trying to you know extract information about uh, vikram i mean his whereabouts and whatever his family and whatever it was so it was really good that uh, and it was a brave attempt by location also brave of kamal hasan that he agreed that his character should come in the second half it's really good that you know he he didn't want to you know outshine everyone from the very beginning and he allowed fahad fazil to you know unleash his potential in the, in the very first half and fahad was outstanding and simultaneously i was very happy that they allowed setu pati uh, setu pati to unleash his potential as as a menacing character you know i mean what i loved about setu pati from the very starting that you know the rickshaw scene when he's you know bearless and you know i mean you know we have that image in mind that a character whether he is a Uh, antagonist or protagonist i mean which we use the common term is hero or villain so he should have a good chiseled body and if he is specifically and if he is a villain then he should definitely have a chiseled body and he should be look good at whatever it was but sidhupati didn't give a damn and you know i mean he has love handles from the front and from the back his body is very similar to mine he's very chubby and whatever it is but look at his confidence you know in that entry scene and also in that wedding scene if you see you know the post uh, i mean pre interval scene when he is fighting with others and you see the, the fight is so casual and so realistic 
you know when, when they were these mass men were trying to you know uh, attack him and whatever they, they were trying to target it is is you know boiled up tummy <laughs> they were you know trying to this 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 and he was do, absolutely able to do nothing you know setupati but from suddenly he you know gets access to the drug he consumes that drug and uh, you know he gets high and he just tears apart everyone so that seemed very realistic you know i mean even some of the those uh, you know scenes were not at at, um, at most believable but they, they provided some wholesome value wholesome entertainment so i i really liked it and you know uh, for me the, the starting was a slight slow i mean you know the character development and building and specifically fafa had to extract so so much information about all these characters but once all these characters were there especially specifically when the, then you know the rudra pratap scene when in the wedding when kamala sen enters he grabs rudra pratap and he kills him on whatever it was and from then on the film shoots up my god we, we are in you know for for a amazing ride so i really liked about it that how the screenplay was aligned very well and and aligned with the characters i mean he really uh, you know lokesh was really concerned about that you know all the characters should get uh, their particular due and they should be perfectly aligned with the screen plan I mean, the character character development and the screenplay should be perfectly aligned and even the action it never seemed over the board i mean even you know in these brutal action thriller movies sometimes the action also gets over the board but even the action seem very relevant in all the sequences yeah so overall it's an excellent film i'm i'm really really happy that it exceeded my expectations because you know when the film was released and i was reading that some there were mixed reviews but then you said no 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 these reviews are fake just wait for the film and you love it and i'm glad that i watched it and i never i really loved it okay and uh, now moving to the technical aspects you know and uh, in the technical aspects more specifically the bgm and bgm by anirudh you know uh, what are your thoughts on specifically the bgm i think this was one hell, hell of a bgm score you know uh, probably the best since bishwa parvam the malayalam film bishwa parvam yeah and uh, this uh, this you know uh, in that uh, packed theater you know uh, you actually got that goosebumps you know with all you know the uh, voices and the uh, surround sound that was there you actually yeah. you know could whether it was a slow mo walk that was there or if a character discovered some or uh, kamal hasan sir you know chewing uh, chewing gum you know non challengely you know that was like badass and the yeah. the, the pgm was like it deserved a playlist of its own you know yeah. it was so good it was so good that you know i felt like whistling in a multiplex and it was a posh multiplex by the way it is not a single screen theater where normally the hooting and the cheers happen but we were hooting and we were cheering even in a posh multiplex and people were joining us so uh, what are your thoughts on the bgm specifically and the other technical aspects as well so coming to the bgm did you uh, uh, did you notice that all the three characters had separate bgm for them distinct yeah distinct bgm scores yes yes, yes. fat fazil had a separate bgm and kamal hasan i think apart from the entrance music and from the climax that vikram vikram which was carried forward from the 1986 film if you have heard of that you know 1986 film the background music it was also there and for me the best bgm belonged to setupati you know his entry and whatever he was doing my man that that was aligned with his character you know that that looked menacing just like the character so this is what i loved about anirudh that his music sense is good and he knows how to align with the character and he knows that the audience will definitely love it and i may be you know straying a bit from the film now but i also wanted to mention about jawan because you know the uh, announcement of jawan was uh, released a few days back and uh, you know even Shankar. though yeah exactly uh, with, with sharukh khan and directed by atli kumar so even if you notice that trailer announcement of jawan is so good and it's so engaging that even if you are not a big fan of sharukh even if you may not be interested in in his previous or upcoming movies but you have to admit the fact that the background music that was so spine chilling that you you will appreciate it i mean whether you if you don't want to watch the movie but your excitement and your gripping level will be there i also wanted to add uh, you know anirudh has been consistently giving good bgm however 
I think credit to the makers as well. In this case, Lokesh Kanagraj, that the way he used the background score, you know, uh, many times we've seen, uh, you know, uh, at times, for example, if I can cite the uh, film Beast, which I personally did not really like. I'm sorry for fans of uh, Vijay Thalapathy. I'm sorry, but I did not really enjoy uh, Beast. And it had the background score of Anirudh, which was again good, but the way it was used in Beast just took away the charm of the background score, you know. Yeah. And here it is totally the opposite. It totally enhanced the scene. So the way the makers chose to use the background score here in Vikram, Vikram uh, hit list, yes, is yes. excellent, you know, and uh, quite brilliant, I would think. And that was again another uh, interesting. Uh, so to say that probably they may have written the background score, written in inverted commas, written the background score in the script itself, that this will require a background score in the screenplay. It could have happened, you know, uh, and that it helps, you know, uh, to, you know, enhance the scene and to really understand uh, the background, the BGM that is there. It was not overpowering like in KGF2, uh, but at the same time, it was uh, quite stylish and quite refreshing to the ear, I would think. Oh, yes, yes, absolutely. I, I totally agree with this. And uh, his music sense, I have to agree that his music sense is really awesome. I mean, you know, Anirudh has, he, he knows what the audience want. And, and interesting to note, he's very young. He's around 31 or 32 only, I think, because I was checking that he was born in 1990. Yeah, he's, he's, he's younger than us. I mean, I was born in 18 and he's born in 1990. So he's younger than me. And, uh, you know, and he's been giving music since, I think, uh, by this Kolaveri days, since 2012. Oh. So, you know, he was just 21 yeah, or 22 yeah. that time. So only and that was a part of our childhood, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, our younger days. So, yeah, I mean, you know, that it, it was really good. And, and you have to see, and just imagine, by this Kolaveri, the, the, the music that he gave, that was so different from what he, he's been giving over the years. So the variety that he possesses, just like A.R. Rahman, I mean, this is something about Tamilians that they know how to create music for a particular film, whether it is Illai Raja, whether it is G.V. Prakash, something was, who gives music for mostly Bala and Vetri Maran movies. Vetri Maran movies, I think. He also has some amazing music. Then Haris Jair. I think, uh, I think just to add to what you're saying, I think uh, the uh, artist, uh, you know, from Malayalam film industry, from the Telugu film industry, from the Kannad film industry, and from the Tamil film industry. You know, specifically these four. Why I would like, even I would like to add Marathi and Bengali to this list as well. Uh, not so much Hindi at the moment, but uh, yes, these six there they have amazing. Uh, you know, uh, artists who understand the cinema and they're really passionate about it. You can see that passion. On screen. In this case, the music, I think uh, in KGF2, it was the editing which was done by a 19 year old. What were you doing when you were 19? So, that is the thing. I mean, they have such talented artists, and uh, I am really happy that they are getting all the chances. Uh, the, uh, the BGM in Bhishwa Paran, for example, that we had cited earlier was outstanding. I think that is on my playlist on loop. I still listen to it. It's been six months since I've uh, watched the film. Uh, so, coming to the next section, and uh, what did you make of the genius of Lokesh Kanagraj? He's the director and the co-writer here. So, what did you make of his direction specifically? Was it, um, did he match up to Kethi? And was it as good as Master? How was it? What are your thoughts on it? For me, no, he didn't match the level of Kethi. He exceeded it. He far exceeded it. Because Kethi, wow. Kethi... Obviously, Kathy was an outstanding film. I'm not denying that. I loved it. I, I watched it twice or thrice. I yeah, guess. I loved it. Yeah. I, I, I loved it. I Because I, the level of Kathy was so high. I mean, you know, me and my brother, when we watched it, because my brother recommended it, and I'm very thankful to him that he recommended me such an amazing film. And he said that this film is on par with all the Hollywood movies that he's watched and all the Hollywood chase films he's watched. Because Kathy is specifically a chase and yeah. adventurous film, adventurous action, oh. action film which we rarely get out of Hollywood because Hollywood is specialist in this. But Hindi films or uh, Bollywood films in particular, they do make chase films and adventures films, but they are not that convincing. But Kathy this was... This is not Bollywood, actually. Yeah. This not... was again a Tamil film. Bollywood, yeah. by the way, is remaking Kathy with Ajay Devgan. Uh, with Bhola. The, the name is Bhola. Bhola. Yeah, the name is Bhola. Yes. Yeah. Thanks, yeah. So, yeah. So, so what I'm saying, I mean, not only South Indian cinema, Tamil or whatever language, uh, Hindi or whatever it is, 
they, they are not really successful in making such brutal and such amazing engaging you know chaser or uh, adventurous films so this is what i loved about kathy so when i watched vikram so i thought it it may not be you know that good or maybe it, it may be on par with that but what i loved about vikram as i said about character development was first kathy was focused on a few characters i mean characters were there but there were not really superstars apart from karthi so there were not okay. any superstars but in vikram uh, when you do have superstars you also have an added responsibility that you have to get the best out of, of all of them and you don't leave any out of them so okay. he used it very smartly and i was blown away by the film from the very moment till very end so obviously it, it has and obviously i mean compared with master so master for me it was not on par with kathy or vikram it it, it is yeah. among the you can say slight weaker works of uh, lokesh cause I, i have I haven't watched his first film um, manigram i am not sure about the name even manigram i i have watched it by the way i okay. watched it it's on amazon prime okay. uh, again that is again getting a hindi remake and that has vijay setupati in it in his hindi debut and uh, along with vikram masi vikram masi yes yes mumbai kar yeah. i think it's the name is mumbai mumbai kar mumbai kar yeah mumbai kar yeah, yeah, yeah. ha huh. Yes. Manakaram, I think was again outstanding. I think there he it is a 2017 film, by the way, and he relished some flair in that, uh, some early flair of having multiple stories, you know, and then combining yeah. it. That was again difficult, and uh, he showed glimpses uh, of his uh, genius there. Then it went to Kathy, in which I think again it was a disjointed screenplay. You know, it was a pretty yeah. straightforward film if you would see yeah. from story perspective. Yeah. but it was a disjointed screenplay right from yeah. the beginning you don't understand what is going on is there a drug racket going on what exactly is going on and slowly you start getting answers to it by the time you start investing in it master again had a disjointed screenplay but i agree with you uh, it was a little you know not on par with what we expect from uh, uh, lokesh kanagraj who is nothing short of brilliance it was it wasn't bad it was still a good film uh, along with the two superstars that were they yeah. both Pati and Setu Pati. Yeah. Uh, it was still very good. I really yeah. enjoyed the film. Uh, that review again you will find on Popcorn Reviews, by the way. Kathy as well as Anagaram, all three I have reviewed it. Oh. Uh, but then coming to Vikram, I think as you rightly said, he's uh, you know far exceeded it, and he's created a Vikram verse, you know, and that is something that I want to talk about specifically uh, with you, Sadik. And uh, what do you make? This is a very new concept, right, of the Vikram verse. Absolutely, absolutely. and uh, if, even though uh, i mean you know the concept is uh, very new and uh, very different and specifically from I, i won't say even from an indian perspective but even from a south asian perspective because it is Correct. obviously borrowed from i think hollywood and they are trying to hmm. create something new because you know the marvel cinematic universe or mcu it is more based on a fictional movie or uh, you can say superhero uh, genre but this uh, you know this is what is makes it special that the location is focusing on an issue which is very important like you know the narcotics uh, area so and in the narcotics he is trying to uh, portray or illustrate the characters in a in a gray area i mean he is not trying to uh, portray the characters as hardcore villains or brutal villains he is also trying to show that all these villains or all these characters are very vulnerable if you see hmm. the character of setupati was very vulnerable he had a family of his own yeah. he wanted to protect him uh, protect his family so even though he was a brutal guy but simultaneously was also very vulnerable same goes for uh, these uh, other characters from kathy which were there and they were evident and they were very afraid of rolex the, the king or the boss of them all so we'll see how vulnerable or how brutal whatever it is rolex will be in the other parts that is because i i think he'll be there in kathy 2 and yeah. if if rolex is there in kathy 2 so he'll be up against his own own brother because karthi and surya are brothers so it would be yes really, it would be awesome to see these two brothers up against each other because these these are amazing actors ma- ma- and i think uh, i think uh, i would go one step ahead you know uh, in kathy 2 uh, you know surya will <laughs> the character surya will still be alive which means he'll still be there in vikram 2 which means that uh, vikram 2 is going to be huge you know five superstars together or four superstars other i'm counting vijay setupati i'm sorry <laughs> he yeah. was he's 
imagine if he was alive or if he's shown to be alive he got escaped five of them would be together my god that's going to break every single record that is there on the uh, indian box office or even worldwide you know so uh, that is something that is special now very quickly now coming to the performances uh, sadik uh, we all are uh, you know uh, uh, the some of the other casts uh, they really did well like chamban vinod and uh, the Uh, the uh, the actor who plays Argentina, even uh, Kalidas Jairam, he did a good job. But I mean, uh, it would be uh, unfair to you know not talk about the three of them. And it is what a privilege you know to watch Kamal Hassan sir, Vijay Sethupathi, and Fahad Fazil all together on screen. And there's this one shot in which all three of them are together on screen. And I was just telling uh, uh, our friend, you know, uh, that. Uh, that i think uh, should be framed you know that shot should be framed and should take someone should take a snapshot and should be framed for twitter reference because this is what it has come to you know and it is such a wonderful time to be alive to witness this magic on screen by the three superstars nobody would have imagined you know the three to you know be a part of the same uh, film and the same vikram verse you know i mean uh, that is something huge and uh, each one brought something or the other to the table uh, i felt uh, fahad fazil really has expressed wise you know he can really uh, ex- express through his eyes likewise vijay setupati and vijay setupati has this badass kind of a persona on screen especially in this film and kamal hasan sir is absolutely immortal i think uh, he is evergreen we just watched uh, we started watching his films right from you know from pushpak to nayakan to heram to indian to chachi chasubis uh, to vishwarupam uh, and now uh, we are watching him in vikram and you know he still got that mojo that hunger you know and you can make that out on screen you know such a magnetic personality on screen and the three of them they really really put on a show would that be wrong to say that sadik absolutely not absolutely i totally agree with you and uh, you know i mean th- as i said earlier i mean the role of all the three characters were meaty and uh, you know as it was suggested from the poster that it will be a, a-, a superstar film because you know when the poster was released in 2021 i guess so we all film buffs were very excited to watch it and we were discussing right, how it, right. it will turn out but often it happens that most of these film star star films some of one of the characters tends to you know uh, get to be dropped out or whatever it is he doesn't get screen time but lokesh here made sure that all of these characters get the fair due so if i have to choose i mean i don't want it to choose but if i have to choose between which character stood out for me so i think it was vijay setupati and vijay setupati badly needed it cuz post 2019 post super deluxe he i think didn't get any good films apart from master any good meteor roles apart from master where he could you know show his class or show his films because of late his films have not been that good you know at least watch uh, which i have watched in the last uh, few uh, years so like tughlaq darbar labam upena was good then uh, anabel setupati and uh, whatever it was uh, like you know even the last film with samantha uh, that you know krk i would like that uh, i would like to call that film because it, it has a very big name so yeah i mean you know he was unable to get these good films have after 96 and super deluxe and even vikram meda so yeah for me situpati stand out and i just wanted to add one more thing that rithik roshan now has massive shoes to fill on in vikram meda because if hindi cinema goers have watched vikram uh, i mean situpati here they realize and if they have not watched vikram meda they realize how good work he has done in vikram meda so i guess rithik is able to fill, fulfill uh, the, the work that has been done or i i may be wrong but he may even supersede uh, sitopati which is very difficult but let's see what happens so, it will yeah. be difficult it will be difficult but uh, sticking back to uh, vikram and not vikram veda uh-huh. <laughs> what uh, would how would you sum up the film if i had to just tell you just to sum up the film what would uh, it be you know uh, along with whether you recommend it or not because i know many people who may not have yet watched it many people may have well watched it i don't know but Uh, if you had to sum it up how would you sum up uh, vikram so i wanted to sum up in just one word cuz i can add paragraphs and paragraphs and paragraph of for for you know <laughs> the praise of this film so i wanted to sum it up sum it up in just one word stunning 
absolutely stunning. Two words here. So I'm, I'm really stunned with this film and I'm really happy that, you know, I'm able to watch back to back some amazing action films, RRR, KGF2 and now Vikram. And all these three films have, you know, lived up to the hype. Vikram, though, even though it has far exceeded the hype that it, it had created, very limited hype that, that it had created. So it's really good and highly recommended. And people that have not watched it, I would really recommend that to watch it because they won't be disappointed. Not at all. Full throttle action. And, and I would just like to say, I would just like to say that, you know, this is how you, you know, make a mass masala entertainer. You know, if you have to make a mass masala entertainer, then this is it. This is it, how you have to make it. Absolutely. I just only wish one thing that uh, probably the Hindi Hindi version, uh, you know, which is the Hindi dub, which I watched uh, huh. in the theater. I think that probably uh, could have been, you know, promoted a little more. Although uh, Kamal Asan sir did appear on Kapil Sharma show huh. and there was a little buzz, you know, huh. I wouldn't say a lot of buzz like RRR, but probably, you know, uh, probably a little more uh, buzz uh, would uh, would have been generated, but I'll tell you what would happen for many people who may not have uh, been able to watch it in a theater, which is, by the way, still running in a theater. But yeah. um, once it premieres on OTT, it's going to be a huge hit. And it's similar to what happened with KGF, right? KGF Hindi version did work, but it wasn't a huge hit at that time. It became more popular on OTT and the satellite. So by the time Vikram 2 comes out, uh, I think it is in 24 and 23, it is Kathy 2. If I'm not wrong, um, I can be a little uh, off with the year, but uh, I think it is 2023 is Kathy 2, Vikram 2 is 24. So by the time Kathy 2 comes out, I think it's going to be really, you know, people are going to be warmed up to it. And uh, people are going to, you know, uh, probably um, uh, lap it up like they did with KGF 2. I think this is my prediction. Uh, and I hope I'm right because it's going to be a huge success even on OTT. So this is how you make a mass masala film, you know. Oh, Sadhik, any last words? Bas, uh, I just want to, you know, sum it up that, you know, it's an amazing film and it's a must watch. So, yeah, almost a wrap up from my end. And I think we are also running out of time. So we have only so, three minutes now. Yes. It will just, you know, the, the Zoom. So we'll go. wrap it up. Uh, so uh, please Please, guys, uh, if you're new to the channel, either you're watching it on Popcorn Reviews or Filmactico Reviews, please subscribe to both our channels. Popcorn Reviews is with a double S. I have also written my review of Vikram. Please uh, catch that in the description box below on my site, Popcorn Reviews, again with a double S. 